Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at statistical transformations with ggplot and the tidyverse. Let's get started. So let's start off by grabbing in our standard libraries. Uh, we're going to grab the tidyverse for today. Let that load up. And then let's talk about uh, some statistical transformations. So uh, we're going to maybe first start maybe talking about a little bit about bar charts again because this is still part of our visualization uh, lecture series here. Um, but again, we're, bar charts maybe seem to always get kind of the brunt end of the stick, okay? They're, sometimes they're not very interesting, but here's the thing, I love them, all right? You are, uh, there's something very subtle about these plots, and you're able to really consider a bar plot that's done very well, okay? And we use, use, do this using the geom bar uh, function, okay? The functionality. So this is going to display usually, for example, we'll do, um, we're going to be using the diamonds data set. Okay, so we can actually go on in and uh, maybe glimpse the diamonds data set. So we have in here uh, a lot of rows, okay, so 50,940 uh, rows. We have 10 columns. We have uh, the carrot, the color, um, the cut, the clarity, the depth, the table, the price, and then uh, we have these other variables, the X, Y, Z uh, components as well. So we're going to actually go through and take a look at uh, first let's do ggplot in here we'll do our data is equal to diamonds then we are going to add in our geom bar in here and our mapping is going to be um, x we're going to do this by cut first and notice here that I only use the x-axis, okay? Because again, it's basically using a count method, okay? To in order to uh, grab our uh, values, so we only give it the x-axis here, and we here it shows us again fair, good, very good, premium, ideal, and this gives us a nice, clear way to visualize the data and the cuts, okay? So along the x-axis here, we have our cuts. And again, um, we have all of these nice uh, kind of visualization uh, that we have here, and can, we can see this kind of going up over time, or not over time, but over um, the the types that we have in here. Now, um, some other graphs, okay, that are very similar to bar charts, uh, and we can calculate these depending. Um, bar charts, histograms, frequency, uh, polygons, uh, bin together our data, okay, in a bin count plot. So again, so this is done by the count. So again here, so for example, good is about 5,000. Um, here we have very good, for example, is probably somewhere around uh, 12,500 or something like that, etc. Now, uh, smoothers, for example, though, um, fit our data, uh, and then they're going to plot a prediction of our data, okay? But these are actual count values that we have in here. Box plots, for example, are going to compute uh, robust uh, summary statistics, okay, and a distribution, and then it's going to display the results inside of the box plot, and we'll, we'll get to those here in just a little bit. But what we wind up seeing here is, again, this uh, geom bar method here actually does a count method in here to create the plots. Um, you can do this actually with um, a stat count as well. So um, we can actually go through and let me look at the documentation for a stat count for you guys. Again, and this kind of comes into bar. Notice here it actually does come, it pulls, when we look at stat count, the stat count function, it actually does pull up bar charts for us, okay? Um, so again, it uses, um, all of this kind of math in the background for us to do these uh, counting and orientations as well. So I'm going to leave that, but we'll oh, we'll actually go through and maybe let's see if we want to uh, play with this just a little bit. So let's go on and uh, and do ggplot in here. Our data is going to be our diamonds. Oh, diamonds. And then we are going to add in uh, the stat count here. And again, uh, mapping here is going to, with our aesthetics here, is x is equal to uh, cut. Now notice it will, it will actually, when it runs this, it gives us the same plot we had before. Okay, there's nothing different between um, this and using the geom, um, uh, the geom uh, 
bar either, okay? Um, but again, we may want to maybe override uh, some of the, uh, the generalized uh, values that we have here. So I'm gonna go back and actually, oops, I wanna clear that clear this out we're going to go back to our geom bar but we're going to actually change a couple different things here so here on our x-axis all right we're going to have our cut now we're going to change this our y is going to be the frequency okay so uh, and then we're going to also change this to our stat is going to be identity And it did not want to, oh, okay, because it actually, I didn't actually go through and create something different. Uh, give me just one second to clear this out. Yeah, I wanna remove that plot because it's messed up. And then let me go in and clear this out. So one thing that we may uh, want to do, for example, is that if we have um, maybe our, our count plot themselves, so let me actually go through and actually create a quick um, frequency demonstration here. So maybe, just wait one minute and let me get something pulled up. So I need to kind of, um, let's, let's go back for just a minute here. And something that I want to um, show and kind of discuss here is kind of our intermediate steps whenever we are doing a bar plot. So one thing that actually happens is we use the uh, kind of a count function in here on our diamonds and on our variable cut. So then we have our variable in here and we have, for example, fair, good, very good, premium, ideal, and we have our count uh, number as well that we uh, go through and we can actually calculate up. Uh, and this is actually how the counts are actually done. Um, now we can actually go through and um, Trade, uh, trade things up a little bit if we want to. And we can do something um, here. If we want to actually use the dplyr uh, count as well. Again, this is the same uh, thing using the count function. But I'm going to use this to kind of force um, uh, some interesting uh, observations for us, OK? So we can go through. And let me, uh, let me clear this out. So I'm going to have this as our, I'm just gonna call this a uh, some data frame in here. Um, and so we'll create our ggplot. And our data here is going to be our data frame. Plus here, we're going to use a geom bar. Um, and here are mappings. Uh, our mapping here for this is X. And now technically we are doing this on cut. But if you remember correctly, that it actually gave us, um, now it's called var. So I'm going to call this var. And then I also want our y in here is going to be n for the frequency. And I'm going to change the stat in here to our, our identity. Okay. And notice here that this actually gives us uh, the same exact uh, thing that we had before. Um, now again, we could always change this in, in a variety of different ways, but it's kind of nice just to show you what is going on in the background where we can actually go through and, again, see this intermittent step in here. Um, now let's go on and take a look at maybe uh, one more thing that we can kind of do here if we would like. And that's uh, going through and adding maybe uh, some summer, the, using the summary stat function in here, and that would be something like um, uh, ggplot, oh, and you know what, let me go in and clear this. And we want our data here to be diamonds in here, and then we want to go on and do stat summary in here, and then we can do something like, um, whoops. Let me actually clean this up a little bit so we can do our, uh, our mapping in here is going to be with our aesthetics. X here is going to be cut. Y here is going to be our depth. And then we'll have our function for our minimum. Here is going to be our min. 
our function here for our maximum here is going to be max. And then we're going to also add in some fun in here. And this is just going to be itself is the median. Uh, and so we should, when we run this, we get this nice little uh, bit here that kind of looks a bit like a, a bar plot, okay? So it has our mean in here and then it has our maxes and mins um, as well. And we can go on and maybe we'll do um, just maybe uh, one more in here and we'll do a box plot. Uh, just just for fun in here. So uh, GG plot in here. We want our data to be our diamonds. And here we're going to be our geome box plot in here and um, our mapping here with our aesthetic here. X is going to be and we'll do this back with cut again. Oops. And again here, if you look here, it does not look exactly very pretty at all. But again, it is just something that um, uh, we can kind of show. Uh, but we'll also go through and maybe do uh, one more in here. And let's do this with our, our data frame, just to show you a couple different varieties in here. And do uh, DF in here. And we'll do var y here is going to be, uh, what did we have this as in? And again, notice this just changes uh, things just a little bit so you can see them in this way. And then this does not make any sense, okay? I'm just showing you guys what can happen when you start messing around with your geoms. You can start uh, really having some strange visualizations as they were. So I'm going to leave this here for you guys. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.